<laughs> Hello and welcome back. I hope you're in focus. I, I keep looking up and every time I look up, it's not. I'm just turning this on now because I wanted to touch base for the week. I ordered a really pretty glass simmer pot pot. So we're doing a simmer pot, a pretty one, and I'm going to show you how I do mine. And then I got some cute things to put in it. And then I also have some stuff already. I still have clove. I still have some other things to do a simmer pot. And then we got to go foraging for some uh, pine. So we're going to go looking for some pine somewhere. I'm sure I'll be going on a dog walk at some point and I can just pick it up there. So um, we're doing that and then we're going thrifting. I wanted to do my thrifty things you can find at the thrift store holiday gift guide. And it's great for other people. If you're giving gifts to people who are into vintage or thrift, then they would really like uh, what this post is all about. So we're going to go put that together and um, yeah, it's going to be very festive. So the festive videos are beginning now, basically. Here's my outfit today. It is Sienna's Sporty Spice Chic. I'm just cozy, comfy, because all we're doing is getting groceries and working. I wanted to show you something very exciting that just came in the mail. As you guys know, I have been kind of playing and dabbling with some coffee mug designs because I wanted, you guys know I love coffee, and I want to find my, I guess you can see my branding, and now that we know that my branding is dark cottage core to the core, and I was talking to a gal who I've never met, but she lives locally and follows me on Instagram, and um, she was mentioning something about cottage core i don't remember how it came up and i said yeah i'm cottage to the core i was like oh my god that's so funny so i thought that can be my slogan <laughs> cottage to the core and i got a new mug <laughs> i'm so excited about it why <laughs> is that so amazing and i wanted it to have the witty black enamel but yeah that's my little cottage to the core design and i just wanted to make sure it was centered because getting it centered on the printful thing is very difficult it looks centered looking at it like this i wanted to order a mock-up of it see that looks centered damn it what do i do let me look at it set it down and stay that looks centered when you set it down so my thrifting is therapy mug and i think i want to redesign it and do that same slogan thrifting is therapy see how hard it is to like get it I just feel like you'll never really feel like it's centered just because the design but this could be moved over to the right a little bit I think but this one and this was left-handed I wanted to make sure the, the mugs were for right-handed and this one I made left-handed so this one I've taken off the web shop and are long, no longer available until I can redesign it but um and the thing too is what's weird is these are machine washable and microwave washable and these are not. So you want to hand wash these ones particularly and I don't know if it's because it's the black dark enamel and that's the difference. But I would say though the quality of the mugs is really nice. They're a good size. Good size average you know your typical coffee mug. And um, they're cute. I like them. <laughs> so we have our dark cottage core black enamel mugs that will be for sale on the web shop. Um, so thank you to Chelsea who was there for the inception of this idea. I feel like I kept them pretty cheap. I didn't want to mark them up too much. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's that. Yay. Mugs for sale <laughs> if anybody wants one. Outfit for foraging. We're gonna go look for pine branches and take the dogs for a evening stroll. Cause you know, it gets dark at four o'clock here now. Doesn't give you much time, but the outfit, I'm full on Fila. Are you going for a nice walk? Oh, good boys and girls. Did you get a toy toy? You did, oh, you did? That's what I got, golden hour. That's what I always get, the wish. Well, well, good to know, this is where we were talking about coming to get our Christmas photos, cause this would be perfect. We've got some branches. See any more branches? It's a little warm out. It's not cold. You can hear the sea lions in the zoo. <laughs> I just call them water shit zoos. <laughs> Love this little park area. But the bridge is closed. Oh, because I wonder if the windstorm something happened. Even though we didn't. It's really mossy and slick. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, good thinking. Oh my goodness. Look how many. Wait, guys, you can hear the babies. Little ducklings. 
lovely autumn day. I got so many branches. I got a couple of different kinds and we're still gonna circle around the pond and see if there's any more. But it's so funny, right when we got here, there was like five trucks cleaning up all of the fallen branches because we had the bomb site clone warning yesterday, which didn't affect us here, but um, everyone we know in Seattle lost power because of the cyclone. It was pretty, pretty major. It's hitting the coasts and causing a lot of snow, apparently in the Cascades and, and on the mountains, but we were lucky. It knocked over our umbrella. <laughs> Literally all that happened is an umbrella got knocked over. I was like, ooh. But yeah, there was probably, I would imagine, fallen crap everywhere. I'm waiting for Lyle, he's in the bathroom. I was thinking there'd be tons of branches. <laughs> but they went around and got them all. Who's that? Who's that? I'll tell you about that job I did in Linwood. <laughs> that duck just, just laughed at you. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh, can you? That's where all the fairies are. They're all talking to each other like, alert, alert. Dogs. Look at all that pine. What kind of tree do you think it is? Pretty though. Where do the turtles go? Why is that sound like a song? <laughs> Bald cypress. Bald cypress, it's about to be. It's fair game if it's on the ground. It's not like I'm going around trimming the hedges. This, this cypress is uh, balding. This is a little George Costanza moment. What's this one bald? Same thing, huh? Why, why does this one got little balls? Because it's ball cypress. Balls. Balls. <laughs> foraged some decent pine. I got some real quality top grade pine yesterday, you guys. I'm so excited to do a simmer pot. That's what I was getting that for, uh, if I hadn't mentioned it. I ordered a more beautiful simmer pot. I've had my Dutch oven that I usually bake my bread in as my simmer pot, just because it was, you know, easy to it's still, it's not ugly, but you see all these beautiful clear ones on uh, Instagram and just the way they put it together, make it look all pretty. And last year I did my garbage, <laughs> my garbage simmer pot for people who want to get in on all the fun, but don't want to have to waste food or go buy a simmer pot thing. So you, it, there's ways to do it affordably. And I did that last year. This year we're going pretty. We're going beautiful. We're going aesthetic. We're going... It looks like I'm in home and gardens. That's what we're looking for this time. So I'm gonna make the most beautiful simmer pot I've ever made in my life. While that is simmering and making my kitchen smell like a freaking Christmas dream, I'm gonna make some coconut cookies. But I think the coconut cookies look like little snowballs. <laughs> but I love the outfit today. I really, um, I like this layering thing. I think layering is key to styling. There's a lot of Instagrams uh, reels going around of you know fashion girls who are like wearing it versus styling it so you can just buy something and wear it as it's meant to be worn or you can get creative think outside of the box grab other things in your closet and see what would look good with it and I love this look at how different and cool this dress now looks and I even folded the sleeves up so they kind of have a little pop on this you know, I'll show you in the mirror downstairs. And then I'm not wearing anything like, I need to put some leggings on if I leave, but right now I've just got on some really fuzzy socks. Some warm fuzzy socks. But we're gonna go do this. We're gonna go do some crafts. I'll just show you the outfit here. So this is that brown corduroy dress that I thrifted recently. But yeah, I just got that on and my really warm fuzzy knee high socks here. I actually have on for the first time the new Rosie by Rosie Jane perfume that I just got and look at my new perfume display. When I rearranged the space over there, I decided that I wanted to use this little cabinet over here because it matches so well. And I have this now as my perfume display and a little rotating retro looking one too, because I am starting to get quite the collection 
and I never was a perfume collector. I never really was. I had a few here and there, but I just couldn't get behind how expensive it was. And there's certain things I just don't like spending money on, and perfume is one of them. But if I can keep getting them and collecting all these clean fragrances and these kind of indie brands from the Ipsy subscription every month and collect a new one every month, I am so down. And this is really, really nice. This I have on right now because I wanted to just try something that smells like clean laundry, catch little whiffs of myself that has a romantic touch to it. And this is really nice. It's really, really nice. I really like it. And then as you know, this is the one that I got also in that same unboxing. And we're saving this one for our vacation coming up soon. So this one is not going to be used until then because that will forever remind me of that lovely time. I didn't mean to go on a whole perfume tour. My battery's dying. So I will see you guys downstairs. I'm going to go make my coffee and then we're going to get started. That's the recipe, by the way. We have four ingredients, coconut, sugar, light brown sugar, salt, and egg whites. I love this outfit so freaking much. I'm so glad I did this. Let me turn some lights on behind me because I feel like it's looking dark. Get some light on here. All right, I have unboxed and washed and dried my little simmer pot. Look at how cute. It's so little. I'm nervous about, I mean, it says on here fire. So it can take some heat. This is gonna be for simmering, not high boil. And then I bought some star anise. I just love the look of these sprinkled into a simmer pot. And I think they have like a licorice smell if I'm, yes, anise is a, a, a licorice. And they're little stars, how festive. I make money, I'm a store. I have all the pine branches. I think this is probably the most beautiful color I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. Uh, this is gorgeous and I honestly am sad to even think about using it. And it's nice because it adds that little bit of pop of green to your kitchen multifunctional because you're going to be able to just pinch little spots off of it to put into your simmer pot throughout the season. And when we get our Christmas tree, I have a vase full of our Christmas tree branches. Just clip it off the bottom of the Christmas tree where we plan on, you know, making room for our abundance of gifts. <laughs> it's literally just gifts for our dogs because we don't have kids. So it's just dog presents and my husband and I's presents to each other and family. Okay, so there's gifts, but you know what I mean. Got everything sliced and diced. Look how perfect that apple slice is. I think two to three per bag is gonna be good enough. And then we will put some cranberries in it. And some Cut up pieces of pine. These have such a strong licorice smell in them. It's crazy. I really like them. And if you want to do it even prettier, you can find nicer looking bags. Whoa. And add some cloves. And then once I get my cinnamon sticks, those will go in there too. Anytime I'm like spending a decent amount of time in the kitchen where, where I'm cooking or baking, this is what has to be going on, okay? I have to be simmering. It's water and scraps, so what do you gotta lose, right? Simmer pot is ready to go, and I definitely think some orange slices would look really pretty in here, so that's on the grocery list. I'm gonna go get that later today. For now, we're just gonna enjoy it so I can make these coconut cookies. I have an abundance of eggs now because they, in my order, in my pickup order for my groceries, they had cracked an egg. And so it went all over my carton and they've replaced it with another carton of eggs, but I already had one. So now I have two dozen eggs, plenty. So we want the egg whites, two large egg whites, but I do have my two cups of shredded coconut and my packed three quarter cup of brown sugar. This is so simple because it is so few ingredients and separate it. And maybe I'll do a hollandaise, <laughs> you know, with the leftover yolk, but I have enough eggs. I don't think I need it. We're just gonna toss her. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. The simmer pot is simmering. Oh 
my gosh, it smells so good. I've turned it down. So it should just kind of aromatically fill the space through the little peephole here and just keep the kitchen smelling great. This is awesome. I really, I really like it. It smells so good. Like snowballs they look like snow shit <laughs> oh, no. what went wrong I don't understand it was an epic fail you guys so as much as the golden coconut cookies probably would have turned out right if you're somebody who knows a little bit more about the science behind baking and where I went wrong you're probably screaming right now what I did wrong <laughs> they're probably still really tasty Okay, if you dip this in chocolate, it would taste like one of the Samoa Girl Scout cookies. <gasps> oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> if only I could eat it without having to use a spoon. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it tastes buttery and there's no butter in it. <gasps> melting this is so good oh my God. all right we are at the goodwill and we're gonna go do some christmas decor shopping and gift guide of inspiration for fellow thrift lovers and vintage lovers chair of Christmas. It's all Christmas. Look at that. Sneak peek of all the things. And this is going to be how I'm going to construct a gift guide using thrift goods and things you can find at the thrift store to create gifts for people who like thrifting. One of those gifts you could do at like a secret Santa party. We'll get into this later, but um, yeah, I think it's a cute idea. everyone I just made the most delicious cappuccino oh my freaking god well it's not a cappuccino it's a cafe au lait because it's not espresso did you know fun fact I was a barista when I was 18 years old I worked at this really cool place called the mud house in Virginia and then after that I went on to Asheville North Carolina and worked at a place called old Europe that was one of the I would say the best places to learn how to do proper cappuccinos and like get a good foam so I really love making delicious coffees that's why I've always been obsessed with coffee I've my first like real job I would say was being a barista making that drink this morning got me so excited because I love a cappuccino foam and I put my edible glitter on top and it made it look like a snow cap. It looked like a glittering, glimmering glacier. <laughs> That's a lot of G's. <laughs> but it looked like a freaking snowy, snow-capped mountain. I was so stoked about that. <laughs> I loved it so much. But I'm gonna call it the snow cappuccino. Is that not like the cutest idea? I want to unbox all of the things I got at the thrift store with you yesterday. But first of all, let's just quickly talk about the Zenny glasses because mine came. I did a blog post last week about glasses and sunglasses and where I find affordable ones. So I have affordable designer glasses that I get from thrifting. And then I have my prescription ones that I get that are really, really cheap. And 
I'm a budget queen, you know that. So if you saw that reel, um, I even mentioned it in that, that uh, I had ordered two pair and they, they came this morning. So let's try them all together because I'm so excited. They have my prescription in them. Here is the first pair. This reminded me of that gal who was in that trendy reel where she just looked super cool and chic. And I thought it's time to up my frame game. <laughs> they just look really, I don't know, I, they, they are chic. I think they're like Iris Apfel, just like cool girl, um, mod, dark academia gal. <laughs> Gotta do my millennial, my millennial strands. <laughs> Gotta make sure your millennial strands are sticking out proper. And then like maybe a little fun, a little fun clip bun, just like that. I love them, first of all. I absolutely love them. They're so cool. They cover up all of my makeup though. So that's always good on like a day where I've done my makeup and it's a little too intense. And I'm thinking, ah, I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> Those are gonna become like my new favorites. I have a feeling that these are really cute too. And these come in a neat box. Look at that. It's got dragons all over the box. And then the inside of it says, trendy, not spendy. I think that's so cute. But I wanted a pair of granny glasses. I wanted some granny glasses. And are those not the cutest golden girl chic granny glasses you've ever done seen? Those are so cute. Oh my God, I love them. I love them. If those don't say cottage core, I don't know <laughs> what glasses do get your prescription. I have all the information on how, to, on how to do that affordably on that blog post. I have all the links. I have a favorites, at, uh, my Zenny favorites list, which I can share with you. So if you want to know what frames I've loved over the years, there's definitely some I've had that I'll never buy again. You could still get them way more affordably on Zenny. So it's just up to you what your budget is and what your priorities are. If you want designer glasses that say like Marc Jacobs on the side. Um, I'm going to fill up my coffee and we're going to sit down in the sit down chair where we're going to talk about all the things I thrifted and some of my gift ideas. All right, let's go. Let's get into this because I don't have time to sit here and babble babble. Okay, so the first thing that I got thrifting was cutest basket. Doesn't this look like an apple picking basket to a T? $4.99 for this adorable basket and I want to paint this because it's fine. It's not like gross or anything but I don't know. I feel like I feel like I would prefer this to be white. So I think this would be a good starter for what you can put in a basket to gift to a friend. You can put Epsom salts in a jar. Stick that in there. Do a loofah, wrap a little bow on it, and a uh, little bath towel, you know, a little hand towel. You can really get creative candle, definitely, but baskets are always a good thing to have. Little cups and tea light candle things like that are just really good to grab. This one needs a cleaning, so this will get shined up really nice, but I just thought this looked kind of Christmassy because it looks like a little bell, doesn't it? And it was $2.99. Another type of basket you can do is a basket for someone who likes to cook. So recipe books galore at the thrift stores. So you can get a fun book that has recipes in it. I found one specifically called Holiday Appetizers that I actually am going to be making my own recipes throughout December. I'm gonna find some cool ones in here and we're gonna do some together. What? <laughs> Look at this thing. We're gonna be having some fun. So stay tuned for those coming up in December. I'm gonna make as many of them as I possibly can. Maybe we'll just like do one a week, give them a basket, give them some cooking utensils, or you can go the food route and put crackers in here and some cheeses that don't have to be refrigerated. You know, the kind that can just sit out. This is something I thought would make a really fun gift for somebody. So I'm probably going to keep this just for like, an idea for a project I want to do, but um, this would be a really great gift. So keep an eye out for things like this that are empty, but you can you can do something fun with it. But it still has a tag on, which is really great for re-gifting. If you're wanting to gift it to somebody, this would be great if you're doing a thrifty secret Santa party, this with a bottle of wine. Get out of here, that's a great gift. It's a great idea, right? Right. This I thought would be fun to clean up and put a really adorable 
something or other in it. So just finding really ornate, kind of fun containers that look festive. So things with gold and silver details will read Christmas. But this basket could be the coffee basket by somebody, a local bag of ground coffee, a really nice new coffee mug, and then this or you can try to find some flavored different types of sugars that they can add um, that you can use this to put the sugars in. But I think this would be a cool like coffee basket gift. This I got just because it's adorable and I might use this up here maybe. Like how cute would it look back there? I love that. And I'm sure you could put a tea light, um, you know, like if you have a little tea light holder underneath it. But looking for little things like this are really great for just tucking into a basket for an extra something festive. Like I'm like, these are all great gifts and I'm keeping everything for myself. <laughs> I like to buy things that have multiple product in it. So for example, ornaments. This, I can put an ornament on a basket. So wrapping some ribbon around it and dangling it from the handle of the basket is a really nice gift idea. So just start thinking of like buying things that come in bulk amounts that you can use to decorate your basket with because decorating the basket elevates it a little bit. It's not just a basket. It's a basket with things hanging off of it that are also a gift. Here's another thing that's really great for tying onto your basket that comes in bulk. So these are great gifts for people. Uh, you can just take one off, wrap a bow around it, and wrap it around the handle of your basket. So that's everything that I thrifted. And like I said, I have um, gift guides coming. There's just a, a limitless amount of ideas that are affordable. Ooh wee you, I look just like Buddy Holly. <laughs> O O T D, wearing the red horizontal striped shirt with some honey love leggings. Here's the deal. We are going to Value Village. I know I just went thrifting, but I still need to find a floral sheet or a fabric piece remnant, whatever, that's like dark florals. Now, if I can't find it thrifting, I know that I could probably get it at a fabric store. I just don't have the time to head all the way to the other side of town to go to a fabric store because the one that was local moved and now the only other ones that I know of are on the complete opposite side of town from me. Thrift stores are locally to me, pretty easy to get to. So I'm gonna just try there first, we'll see. But that's literally all I wanna look for other than maybe um, just peruse the dresses. So let's go thrifting. And then after that, I have to go to Trader Joe's. So we have some errands to run. We did it. We found exactly what I was looking for. I usually have quite a bit of success at that particular thrift store. Look at the amount of fabric I have here. This is from Joann's and it is three yards. Three yards of fabric. That's insane. And I got it for $7.99 and it's dark florals. It's a little, I would have preferred more chrysanthemums or something like, you know, beggars can't be choosers in the world of thrift. I like it. So that was a success. We're definitely gonna use that for my promo for my new coffee mug. And then I got this. I got this beautiful dress. It's like a sweater dress that has a built-in tie that wraps around the waist. And it's from some company called Jazz, Jasmina. And it's high neck. The only thing is it's got one broken spot in the back, um, but at least one of them works and that's an easy repair, so I can fix that. Then I have to go to the grocery store too. <laughs> so many errands. I have to go to Trader Joe's, which is a grocery store, but then I have to go to a separate grocery store because Trader Joe's ice cream selection sucks and we are sober people and sober people need ice cream. It's our lifeblood. <laughs> you have to have ice cream. Uh Going for, I just woke up chic. <laughs> I'm, I had an idea. I'm, I keep doing this thing where I wake up in the middle of the night and then I get out like all these ideas. And they're some of my best ideas. Sometimes they're a little too much. I'm like, see on. Realistically, that's not going to happen. But creatively, I'm so glad that my mind is freshly creative still because 
it will wake me up in the middle of the night with ideas. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, but this is not the time. So I came up with most of the ideas that I want to do for this mug reel. But I want to have this like cute, sleepy look on, you know, look I'm going for. I can't tell if I want to do my brows or not. I feel like they look so bad. And I have on a little nightgown. So the concept I have, I've written it all out, <clears throat> is that my hair is going to be up in a, a, this. I'm going to have an eye mask on and then there's going to be a, narr a narrator. And the narrator is going to basically talk about how we need to wake this person up to make a cappuccino, a snow cappuccino. Then once the person is awake and they have a sip of the cappuccino out of my new mug, then they transform into this cottagecore looking girl. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is my brilliant marketing concept. This is why I enjoy doing this and this is why I love doing social media and reels and all that because I can tell so many more stories in video format than I ever could in photo. I mean photo, I appreciate photographs and, and photography big time, but this is where you really get to to have fun and conceptualize these things and express yourself and that is why I have always took to video format. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this. I feel like some of you might want to know. This is a um, hair thingy twister. You twist your hair up in it and uh, it, it gives it some wave and some curl. So was, we're going to do it together. I've had success with it. I've also had failures with it. So it just really depends. I will say sleeping in it is an absolute no. There's no way in hell I can sleep with that thing on. It doesn't stay put. It moves around. It's loud. You can hear it in your ear. Not for me, <laughs> but I think uh, some people do it. So what we're going to do is just dampen the hair. And I'm just using like a spritz that's a, also a conditioning spray. And then you want to place it on the top of your head. Grab your clip. And you want to secure your hair to it. And start twisting your hair around it. And then as you're twisting, as you're twisting, you're kind of working it into need to be pulling from the back too with each strand and that's one side I think this is the best we're gonna get okay here's my little setup it works for me you know I have my ring light usually sitting there I have this just like you know really bright uh, studio light. This is like stuff that I do not only to feed my creative soul but to potentially maybe help myself make a little bit of money off of what I do. So if you guys order a mug, thank you so freaking much. I don't make very much money off of them but you never know. You got to make these efforts and just see if any of them pay off. What if tons of cottage girl chicks just happen to see it and are like, I have to have this. Gosh, I sure hope I'm doing this the way that it's going to work in editing. You, you imagine it in your head and you just Fingers crossed. This is actually really gross. It's water with milk foam. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like drinking it because I want it to look like I'm actually drinking it. But it has cappuccino foam, the glitter, and then some sprinkles just so it looks exactly like the one I made yesterday, which I pre-shot. And now I just need to, this is a lot for a coffee mug. <laughs> just know <laughs> when you're, if you decide to buy one, what I put myself through. I'm drinking milk water for, for this, okay? <laughs> Look at this angel. <laughs> look, look at this angel. <sighs> Baby Tina, you sweet angel. Oh my goodness, do I love ya? Do I love ya? I do, look at that face. Still baking the hair. Feels pretty dry though. And I have put on my foundation and my concealer, which is this Merit and the NARS Radiant Creamy. And I've done my brows. So now I was going to take the Fall Edit, which I got in an Ipsy. This is by a brand called Estate. I actually don't think I've ever heard of this brand, but it's just fun. It's from a couple of Ipsys years ago in an Ipsy. But they have this really nice burgundy color and that's what I was going for. So we're going to take a little triangle. You know, these things are my favorite. Fallout, you guys know. You know the answer to this. That's for Fallout. I want to have something cool on my eyes and just play with various colors, but I don't want to have to like spend so much time. So I feel like if I just get a shape 
down and then pat something shimmery on the center, we're done. You can do a wing liner if you want, but you don't have to. Just don't overthink it. The makeup is done and I'm just gonna add a nice big old glop. That's good. Here's the makeup because you were wanting to see it a little more clearly. All right, and now I've refilled my mug and some fresh sprinkles. Gotta get moving. It's the only thing about this is like <laughs> she had to do a cappuccino. Let's make a festive cafe au lait we're calling the snow cap. First, let's wake up the beast. Start with a really cute coffee mug. We are going to need a big old cup of coffee today because look at the state of my subject. Wow, she looks tired. Pour your milk into a frother. Add your spice. Here we use cinnamon and nutmeg. Some homemade simple syrup. Tamp out the bubbles. Top with foam first. Then pour milk into the well and let rise. Decorate with edible glitter and festive sprinkles. Let's see if this coffee helps wake her up a bit. Now just look at that transformation. Much better. Finally a compliment, geez. This is how the hair turns out once you take it out of the rollers. Isn't that nice? It's just, it's like, oh, I'm gonna pull this out of the ceiling, which is actually fine because I'm done, but I just like it because it gives it such a nice, kind of unintentional looking wave. I'm done with that. Now we've got that in the bank. I've got about two more videos uh, to edit that are in the bank. And then I'm about to shoot two more. And I haven't even tried on that dress from yesterday. So I still need to do that. It's a busy day in the studio today, you guys. A busy day of content filming. Christmas really, really ramps up my content. I feel like I just get really inspired and I have a million things I wanna make and that's great. I just feel like this is the time of year where I get my best ideas. Um, let me show you what I was going to do for this next reel. But I wanted to show you guys this. So this is called City Girls Planner and it's a Etsy, like small business. It's a little planner insert and it has like the gold detail to it and it's for 2025, it's about time. I mean, I already got bridal bookings for next year. So I need to start filling all of that in. But that's that and it's all gonna go in my little Louis Vuitton planner that I got for, did I get this last year? I think I got, yeah, cause I haven't filled this yet. The exact agenda that I have, it's brand new on Louis Vuitton is $450, the brand new. It's the, literally the exact same thing. I didn't even realize you could still buy these brand new right now. So 450 for this and I got it for 170. Well, you can tell just by the feel of it that it's the real deal. Um, but the problem is, is that the inserts are expensive. <laughs> like even if you just go on Louis Vuitton, you're like, this is paper, <laughs> but it's Louis Vuitton paper. So the refills is not too bad, $68. I did a blog post on this and a whole reel on this and where to find the inserts and all that. So what I'll probably do is just update that blog with the new Etsy shop that I found that has agendas. This is the gray dress that I got yesterday. It's got some just really unique detail to it. I like this collar and the sleeves are a little bit on the bell sleeve side. And then it has a built-in tie, which I absolutely love because it just cinches in and I don't have to harness it <laughs> because I just have to have, I'm just one of those people that has to have the, my waist cinched. And um, yeah, I feel like it's really soft and cozy. So this will be a really lovely like winter Christmas shopping in the evening kind of dress is what I'm feeling. 
Well, I think I'm actually going to be done. So I, we did so much I can't even remember, honestly. <laughs> but I hope it's helpful for you and that you guys are looking forward to some holiday content coming up because it's going to be a lot. I'm, I'm ready. I'm starting to get into it. If you guys enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. That's a big help. Comment if you'd like to just, you know, tell me what you're excited about for the holidays and any of the thrifty gifty, gifty, thrifty, gifty things that I did. Yeah, well, you guys are always good about commenting and talking to me in my uh, comment section so thank you to all of you who do that i will see you guys on the video next week it's thanksgiving we have some fun stuff happening so just stay tuned for that and i'll see you on the next one bye <music>